Top 10 Scariest Hospital Creepypastas 10. The Nightmare in the Hospital About two years ago, a woman and her two friends went to an abandoned hospital, which was famous for hauntings. The woman and her friends knew there was something wrong with the place. It was cold in the hospital, despite it being a very hot summer day. Everything seemed to have been going well until they got to the inpatient ward, on that same floor, there was a nursing station, and one of the friends told them that she just saw something, they were scared, but decided to test their courage. 9. Room 250 in the 20 years I have been a doctor, I've never regretted it. Having the power in your hands to save someone's life is what I live for. Patients come to me on their deathbed, confessing their love to the spouse standing next to them, thinking they are on their way to judgment day. No patient assigned to me has died. Ever. I take pride in that and I receive the highest grade of satisfaction whenever my patient is back on their feet. At the end of the hall, I could see nurses running towards the burn unit. I followed them, though my pace was slower than usual. I ended my run at the doorway of room 250. Nurses panicked as they tried to revive the bandaged man laying on the bed. The smell of blood permeated throughout the room as they tore away the bandages wrapped around his chest. After three failed attempts of resuscitation, the nurses backed away from the body. A few began crying immediately as they stared at the pulseless corpse. I stepped in attempting to console the crying nurses but something strange happened. My hand glided through her as I tried to pat her shoulder. Again, I tried, believing I was hallucinating but my hand seemed to evaporate with every attempt at contact. You will be missed, Dr. Edenberg, a nurse said. Quickly, Denial creeped up my spine as I backed out of room 250 and into the hallway. Around me, scorched faces I had passed by earlier surrounded me. Don't be afraid, one muttered. Another stretched their arms out to me before whispering, come with us. I fell to the ground my eyes set upon the door of room 250. Today, I lost my first patient, Dr. Timothy Edenberg. 8. A Gear Hospital A man is happy to go on a winter break, while doing so, he decided to go and explore an abandoned hospital. While exploring, he hears a lot of strange sounds in the building. After hearing a shuffle noise coming from his right, he saw a shadow figure run down the hallway, he ran after it. The hallway had a left turn at the end, and then a right, leading into a bigger hallway with more doors. Nothing was found in the hallway. He began to hear voices within the hospital. After encountering the ghosts of the dead babies covered in blood, he ran out of the hospital. 7. The Old Hospital A man, bleeding from a gunshot wound, walks into a tall, brick building. He screams for help and two nurses rush out from a pair of swinging doors. Relax, sir, one of them tells him. We will take care of you right away. They lift him onto a stretcher and wheel him down a long hallway, 
full of typical looking waiting rooms. However, from the rooms, he can hear the sounds of muffled moans and the soft crunching of bones. What is going on in here? He asks, panicking. We're taking you to be taken care of, a nurse says with a grin. The hell you are, he shouts as he rolls off the stretcher and onto the floor, landing on his wound. What kind of hospital is this? You're supposed to heal people in a hospital, not kill them. He backs up against a room and steals a glance into it. There, in a chair, a man with a rash can be seen being torn apart by hands that protrude from the walls, and then being pulled into the walls themselves. What is this? He screams as the nurses surrounded him and pull out a syringe full of clear liquid. He struggles as they inject it into him. As his vision begins to fade, he mutters, this is a horrible hospital. Who said anything about this being a hospital, the nurse asks. This place just likes being fed the weak. 6. I explored an abandoned asylum, a man is filming and exploring an abandoned asylum for a film project. When he and his friend got inside the building, he was surprised to see how good of a condition it was in. Everything seemed to be going well until he and his friends saw a shadow person rise from the floor. Shortly after his camera battery died. They made their way to Ward D, which housed the most violent female patients. On each side of the hallway, each room had a thick wooden door with giant brass locks on them. Soon after, all the doors, without warning, slammed shut, creating a series of loud bangs. After encountering an angry spirit, they ran out of the asylum. 5. Anoka State Asylum Anoka State Hospital has been known by many names in its past, including First State Asylum for the Insane, Anoka State Asylum, Anoka State Hospital and most recently Anoka Metro Regional Treatment Center. It was originally opened in 1900 and is said to be haunted by spirits of those who have died here over the years. Like many old mental health facilities, rumors abound of neglect and abuse, but add to that stories of underground tunnels through which patients try to escape. Many patients are said to have escaped another way, by hanging themselves on the premises. Witnesses say they have heard phantom footsteps, noises, whispers and laughter and felt cold spots within the building and the tunnels, which reportedly have been closed to all but maintenance workers and security guards. 4. Hospital A boy was forced by his friend into staying at the abandoned North Haven Hospital for the night. Inhumane experiments were said to have taken place there, such as the eye experiment. This was when they injected chemicals into their patients' eyes in an attempt to change eye colors. Most of these subjects died mysteriously within a few months. Suicides were also frequent. However, the boy felt that the dilapidated building was relatively peaceful, except for one room on the seventh floor. When he and his friend passed by it, he felt as if someone was staring at them from inside. They kept walking until they heard something hitting the ground from that very room. Grinning deviously, his friend and the boy went inside. He noticed that there was glass scattered everywhere on the ground, 
and the room was empty except for one large, broken window. He saw his friend looking out of it and staring at the night sky. While the boy was picking up one of the pieces of broken glass, he heard a familiar sound of something hitting the floor. He glanced up only to see that his friend had disappeared. Reacting instantly, the boy ran to the window and called out his friend's name. Down below he saw his friend's lifeless, contorted body sprawled out on the concrete below. He heard a whisper in his ear. I can't see. 3. The Expressionless The Expressionless is a story that was added to the Creepypasta Tumblr in June 2012. The story is set in June of 1972, where a woman appeared in Cedar Cena Hospital wearing only a gown drenched in blood. The woman had a mannequin-like face and a kitten clamped in her jaw. She pulled the animal out and threw it aside, and then collapsed. The doctors decided that sedating her would be the best option. After attempting to sedate her, the woman rose from the bed. The staff attempted to restrain her, but it didn't stop her from brutally massacring and cannibalizing the entirety of the present personnel using her sharp teeth. One female doctor survived and nicknamed her, The Expressionless. 2. The Russian Sleep Experiment the Russian sleep experiment tells the story about Soviet agents and scientists experimenting on both political prisoners and prisoners of war during World War II, in which the prisoners are kept in a sealed off room which was filled with an experimental gas to prevent sleep. This mysterious gas turns the prisoners into violent zombie-like monsters. In the end, the commander demands a researcher to enter the room and start killing the prisoners, with one of them muttering, so nearly free, or, finally put to rest, before they die. 1. The Haunted Kaishin Hospital A Japanese TV crew goes to a haunted hospital to explore, saying that it is a popular place for teenagers to hang out and ghost hunt and also a hot place for catching spirits in photos. The reporter interviews a man who claims that he and some friends went into the hospital to test their courage and take photos, but they soon encountered bizarre circumstances and one of them was injured. The noticeably scared reporter agrees to explore and begins poking around the hospital. She begins taking photos as she wanders the dark halls. She soon, however, finds the camera that the kids dropped during their own visit. As she looks through the images, she begins to see strange things appear in the frame. Suddenly, she lets out a blood-curdling scream. The video then explains that they were able to later slow down the footage, and spotted a figure standing in a doorway, reflected in a mirror. After the reporter's screams, the cameraman goes off on his own, only to encounter a ghostly surgeon holding what appears to look like a baby covered in blood and screams. The footage repeats but slowed down. Thank <laughs> you.